Welcome to the second part of this tutorial where we create this beautiful character for our LEGO game. Let's go. Okay, we will add a decimate modifier, there it is. And then decimate the triangles until we reach a point where it's still a nice looking guy. So I think we can go for 0.5 with the torso. And the arms, I guess we can do more here. And decimate, there we go. We shouldn't decimate too much, but I think the point five it's pretty pretty solid. Yes, apply. So what we can do here right now I see is um, go to face and then shade smooth, and this looks nicer. And we do the same with the head, face. Shade smooth, yes, it's better. And yeah, I guess the legs too. Face, shade smooth. No, <laughs> it doesn't look good on sharp edges. So um, yeah, we really have to make sure that we select the white ones. So maybe what we can try is to select these four and say face, shade smooth. Yes, but doesn't really make a difference. Uh, okay, because we should activate flat shading again and then select a few of these and say smooth shading. Yes, it's better. Okay, just select the front and say smooth shading. Yeah, this looks quite right. Okay, here we should use flat shading. Yeah, better. So, and here again, There and here, smooth shading is the way to go. Yeah, you could smooth shade here as well, but uh, we will leave it like that. Okay, decimate. Let's decimate. And then we can decimate even though a good good amount of um, vertices are deletable by the decimate modifier if you have a smooth shading enabled and you won't see it that you um, that he made it some or eliminated some of the vertices. Okay, uh, the head. Okay, yeah. We can do a lot here. Yeah, zero point five is a good value. Okay, now what do we have? Eight hundred. Ah, oh, I think that's that's fine. It's self and faces eight hundred vertices. Maybe a little bit too much, but in general it's okay. Okay, now we go to preferences of Blender and make sure that our add-on is activated called Rigify because then we will have an option to add an amateur um, basic, you know, a human meta rig. And then we can create the rig for our model. The good thing is the rig is very simple. So let's have a look. Okay, we should, um, yeah, turn this complete figure by 180 degrees. This looks correct. Okay, and then we just scale it until we reach the point. And we go to display in front. Now we see the rig and we can get rid of a lot of bones. Uh, maybe we'll start with that. So we do not, do not need any hand bones. So just delete them all. I go with the lasso over all these and say delete bones. We don't need you. Okay, here the same applies for the other hand. We don't need these. I don't know what it is. Uh, we don't need a face. Uh, could be quite funny to have a face there, but face is way too complex for our little um, figure. So let's delete that. The neck is okay. It's a little bit long, but in general, some, the wig is quite okay. Okay. Now the scaling does not match that well, but I think we have to do some adjustments uh, just to match this Lego figure. Mm, these two, we can scale them so that they really fit and have the right place. There we go. Uh, these two should go here and there. Okay, we will just put them in the middle and yeah, I think it looks fine. The arms look a little bit different. So the mm, 
strange. Okay, select the arm. We will correct it. I think this one is the wrong one. Rotate it. Put it where it belongs. And then the wig looks better and more symmetric. Okay, yeah, that's it. We can uh, apply this. Okay, just put the hands on the meta wig. It's not possible in edit mode. Yes, of course. No. Uh, just select the torso, select the meta rig, and stage control P. Um, oh, wait, in the select everything, and the last thing that you can select is the meta rig. There we go, yes, and then control P with automated whites. And hopefully, now we can animate our small little character. Um, let's try this by going to the post mode and try to post. Yes, it's working already. So, um, automated weights are not that good for such a figure because, yeah, as you can see, too many things are moving. It's not the way we want it to be, but oh, the legs, they look quite okay, I would say. And therefore we go into the paint mode, I guess we have to select, for example, let's start with the head. The head is off. <laughs> it starts with the head, really. Okay. Um, go into the object mode, select the head, and then we can weight paint. So in general what you have to do is to select, uh, for example, the arm, and then go into the weight paint mode and go through every bone. And just make sure that only for the correct bone there is an influence on it. For example, for the arm here it's okay that there is an influence of, for example, the face shouldn't uh, influence our arm, so we will just paint this completely blue. Make sure that completely blue, that means this bone won't affect our arm. And yeah, I will go through it and have a look if this is all right. So this, for example, is the hand, and then I would correct it like make this wet completely, and the other thing should be blue completely, and then the whole thing will work better. I added some materials, but this is not so important because we will re-add them in Unity. One thing we should make sure is that our Lego figure has a face, so and therefore we will just um, mark a seam. For example, we go into the edit mode and mark these here as the position for our face. Okay, E, no E is extrude, back control E, mark seam. There we go, this is a seam. Then you select everything and you unwrap. And then you uh, open another editor window and go to this UV editor. And then you pick an image, so I have a face. And then the only thing left to do is just select all the vertices here and scale them down and put them here. And then you choose the face vertices, rotate them, scale them until the face is really sitting on our character. Now uh, I created the skin, but I will just remove it and create a new material. Uh, I have to be in object mode, I guess. Yes. So new material and this material will use as a base color an image. And this image is our face. Okay, here we go. This is what it looks like. Um, it's flipped upside down, so we will rotate it. And the, this is looking quite okay. Um, yeah, it's not that nice, but we will do this in Unity. So this is good. We can save our model, go to File, Export, FBX. And then we we should make sure to select the meta rig, legs, head, hands, torso, everything we want to export. Then go to File, Export, FBX. And then make sure to uh, export the mesh and the amateur. And then select or save the FBX. And there we go, that's it for this episode. Subscribe to my channel to get more straight to the point tutorials.